Hey, what is up everybody? Mark here. Today I'm going to talk through the three different versions of the acoustic guitar bank that I have. I'm going to start with the smallest one. I'm going to go from left to right and talk through the parts. And I'll also mention what materials I used and what options there are as we go along. So first, starting from the left side here, we've got the back piece. And I cut this out of 8th inch MDF. In fact, I cut this entire uh, this entire version right here from MDF and also from 8th inch walnut and 8th inch maple just because I wanted to see the different versions and how they looked. But I used 8th inch on all of this particular one. So again, this is the back piece and I cut this out of 8th inch. Then these next three pieces are what I call the spacers. This is what gives your bank the thickness that it needs for the coins or money to fit in there. If you want it to be thicker, you simply cut more of these spacers. Now, you can also cut these spacers from quarter inch, and there, therefore you'll get a thicker bank right away. And if you want something really thick that, for example, you can put a lot of uh, paper money or things like that in it, I recommend you do at least three spacers out of the quarter inch because you'll be a lot happier with that. But again, these are optional of what, um, what thickness that you use on these items. So the back piece and then three spacers. And then this blue one represents the clear acrylic that you're going to put on top of these as you stack them together. Now, I want to make a point about this one that's important. This guitar was drawn by me by hand uh, with my Apple Pencil on a, an iPad, so it's not quite symmetrical. And what I mean by that is if you flip this piece over, it's not going to fit the contours of the other pieces properly. It only fits one direction. So make sure that you have it fit uh, laid on there the right direction before you glue it on there. And uh, so this is a cut. The blue is cut out of acrylic. And then this inside uh, brown circle right here is optional for you to cut or score or just ignore whatever you want. And the reason I mention that is because you can either have the sound hole cut out and therefore you can drop uh, coins in there or it'll just simply have a different feel for you. Or you can score that, whichever you prefer. That's why I made it a different color. And then these two uh, orangey red uh, circles here, those are intended to be scored. All right. So these two are scored and this one is either cut or scored depending on what you prefer. All right. So again, that one's the clear acrylic. Then here's your pick guard, uh, the bridge. And then this is a piece that goes over top of the sound hole that these uh, score lines help you line up. So this, this piece right here fits directly over the hole, just like that, all right? And then this is the body of the guitar, and this is important. All this is going to be cut except for the frets, and these frets are going to be engraved, all right? So the purple, the purple colors are engraved. You can score it if you want, but it looks a lot better engraved. And then the last piece you have is your bass. Now this is the one piece that you're going to want to adjust based on your particular material. You're going to need to measure the thickness of your material and you're going to need to go into here and you're going to need to adjust the width of this based on your material thickness. So right now it's 0.1375, but you're going to want to again adjust that based on whatever your material is that you are using. And that's all there is to the small version. Oh, let me talk about this up here. I forgot this one. So a lot of you have wanted larger doors that you can use to open up to get uh, the contents out of these. And this is a door that I made for my animal banks. And this also works for here too. And so I put them up here. This is completely optional on your part if you want to do this. I'll go through this real quick, but you can resize this, do whatever you want. So these two pieces here, you're going to cut and then you're going to glue them just like that together. And these are both all going to be eighth inch, by the way. And the side that has the, uh, the smaller one, this one right here, this one's going to go against the bank, all right? So it's going to create this notch right here that the door, uh, which is the red one, is going to be able to slide right into just like that, okay? It's going to slide in just like that. And then this is the hole that you're going to cut in the back of the guitar, and this is a scored line to show you where these will sit when you glue them on, okay? So it's going to sit just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and the door, I'm sorry, this piece and the hole, and you're going to decide where you want to put it on the back, and this next part is really important. Everybody listen up. You're going to want to flip this piece over if you're going to use this door. If you're not going to use the door, it doesn't matter. But you're going to flip it over, 
so that it's going the other way because you want this um, score line on the back of the guitar, okay? You want it on the back of the guitar. So you're gonna place this wherever you want it and then you're going to place the blue one right about there and you're gonna cut that. You're gonna cut the blue, score the green. Cut the blue, score the green. And then when you're done, you're gonna take these two pieces that you've glued together and you're going to glue them right here when uh, making that slot. And then the door will then be able to slide right over that and cover up the hole there. This last piece, I call it a knob. I'm just going to cut that out. I'm just going to glue it right here so that it's something easy to grab onto when you want to slide that door up and down. But there it is. If you want to do that, you can also uh, take these and you can, you can turn it sideways. You can make it smaller, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to do it... Uh, this way, of course, uh, that would make the most sense. Actually, that's upside down. <laughs> um, you'll probably want to do it more like, more like this because the guitar lays on its side. But place it wherever you want. Make it whatever size you wish if you prefer to use that at all. But there's the option for the sliding door on the back. This next file is the large version that's made to go vertical. Let me go through these pieces. They're very similar to the other ones. This top one here is the back. And you can cut this out of any thickness that you want, like I mentioned before. But I highly recommend that if you're going to make the large version here, that you do everything out of quarter inch because it's going to be a lot more sturdy. But again, that's up to you. So this top is the back. And then the next three are spacers, just like before. Except for now you've got the hole right here instead of uh, in the end. So three are spacers there. And then since this is so large and most of the... Uh, Laser beds that you guys have aren't going to be big enough to cut this all in one piece, so I intentionally made this in two pieces, so you can do this on the Glowforge or whatever laser you have. So here's the neck, and you're going to cut the black, and you're going to engrave the purple because those are the frets. And then here's the body. You're also going to cut the body there and engrave the frets there again. There's the pit guard inside here, and then the sound hole uh, circle, just like the last one, and then the bridge and you're going to cut all those. You can move those outside here if, that, if you want to cut them out of different material, whatever. It's up to you. And then the last piece here is the clear acrylic. And again, just like the last one, this inside circle is optional to cut or to score, whichever you prefer, if you want that open hole or if you want it closed. And then the two orange ones are going to be score. So let's jump over to the horizontal version. And it's very similar. Again, here's the back piece. Cut it from whatever thickness you want. It's got the tabs there for the base, which we'll hit down here in just a minute. The three spacers that have the opening here. And then you've got the neck, which again has the frets that you're going to engrave. The body, which has the frets that you'll engrave here. And then the pit guard, the bridge, and the sound hole circle. Then you've got the, acu the uh, acoustic, the acrylic back here, or the acrylic piece. Wow, Mark should never record when he's tired. The acrylic piece. And then the optional hole there and the score lines there. And then you have the base. And remember, you always need to measure your material with your calipers. And then you're going to adjust these slots based on the thickness of your material. So in this case, this is 0 0.2013, but you're going to change it to whatever your material is to fit properly. And that's all there is to these files. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you make with them.